All right, warriors, gather round. Let's do a breathing exercise, five seconds, five Mississippis. <laughs> I, just, I just had a flash. Y'all, I, I remember Miss Hernandez. This was a teacher I had in elementary school. She was a math teacher. And she was short. Some of us were damn near almost as tall. But by end of the year knew we'd be taller than her. She was just a, 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 a cute petite but ornery math teacher. Now Miss Hernandez could hold her own. This was back in the day. Keep in mind where teachers could discipline the children at their own discretion. So, 90% of the male teaching population had a paddle in their desk. The females could whoop on the females. But most schools had a male principal and a female assistant principal. And they would do the paddling according to gender. But check this out, 90% of the men could whoop out some ass whoopings back then. Warriors, back then, if you were special, if you rode the short bus, even then, they knew how to hold their own cool. You remember? You didn't hear much screaming and squawking going on in the portable buildings in the very back. We knew what them buildings was for. Some of y'all ended up in there for reading. But it wasn't because you were in a deficit or had a learning disorder. And it wasn't even that you had reading retention issues. The problem was your attitude. And they fucked you up and mixed you up in that population. Yeah, got you to pay attention differently, didn't it? Gave you a taste of what's to come next year if you keep this shit up. So for some of y'all, it was like being scared straight. <laughs> Look, narcissists defeat themselves. We're going to talk about it. Let's do a breathing exercise. Five seconds, five Mississippis. Let's make some room. Five seconds is a loop interrupter. Five seconds that for many of you, you don't even know it yet. But you're dodging a major bullet. by responding logically and not reacting emotionally. Think all the fucked up shit you've done, all the decisions you've made, all the okie-dokies you've participated in because of temporary feelings. Now, you learn from that. This is the life of the narcissist, 24-7. You see, many of you tried lying, but didn't like it. When you got caught, the embarrassment was not ever worth it to go through that again. You learn from it differently. A narcissist will learn to lie better. You learn not to lie at all. Five seconds. It's going to keep you in your lane. It's going to remind you so that you don't forget oh, nay, nay. The object is not to forget narcissist abuse. The object is to learn from it so you can manage 
it and life from here on out more better bestis or intelligent or is this or is I'm getting carried away with that Chico is a man show is five seconds let's do this come on let's take a badass walk on that beach let's blow air up each other's asses as we ever so proudly want to try and do and want to hear coaches talk about how you're right they're wrong well let's do this breathing exercise because this coach keeps it for real and I'll let you know when you fucking up too <laughs> come on now release slowly alright shake it off shake it off y'all when narcissists defeat themselves, this is what I mean. If you think about something long and hard enough, you're looking out for those kind of things. But you're also, in the narcissist world, needing to seek out people you can enlist and recruit to do your dirty work. Who do you think these kind of people are? Do you think they're the creme de la creme of society? people even beneath the narcissist is doing the manipulating or the pillow talking because this is how they recruit most of them they have that same lustful immature mindset to be able to take risk for a booty call because that's usually the bartering tool or if it's monetary so warriors understand that the narcissist and their arrogance this is what they're believing one, that you're ever so ignorant and that because you dumb down and you believe their excuses, that you're in your, in your naiveness, you deserve to be taken advantage of. This is where they've placed themselves in the relationship. In their arrogance, the narcissists believe that by association, by rubbing elbows, by living with you they lost they lost they, they, they lost sight of the fact that you elevated their lifestyle they lost sight of the fact that they didn't create you in your success they were along for the ride but in their arrogance their envy and jealousy they've convinced themselves now that they created you that they went to the store and built a bear. If this is so believable then, it should be understood that they can build another bear. Carry your ass on and build a bear. Understand something. This is why they need you to leave. They need you to disappear, move to another state. It's why they use all the drama to keep you away because they don't need the new person its intended target to see the truth. To, to ever have access to you or you access to them to be reachable to understand the truth. So warriors understand and believe that they believe they are your equal in time. At first look, that's that honeymoon stage, the love bomb stage, right? Where everybody's playing nice. Everybody's cooperative, everybody's pitching each other's butts, whispering sweet nothings in each other's ears. Uh, farts are cute. And so it's not until later, right? that in their arrogance, you start to understand subtleties. Microaggressions. Underhanded compliments. Things that used to, at least in your eyes, sounded like they appreciated it and thought it was ever so cutesy ootsy, is all of a sudden something that triggers them to want to belittle you. To all of a sudden make you feel like you're off your kilter 
Have you ever done this? Like, for example, there are other times that you feel like, I mean, you're generous, uh, humble, have gratitude, empathy, empathy, and a giving spirit for the, for the most part. Now, every now and again, though, you might, you might pass someone up and a narcissist will see an opportunity that you missed and say you didn't pay attention to or you weren't vibing the moment, right? And they will make it a point to, in an exaggerated way, to shame you for passing them up and act like, well, hey, hang, hang, hang on, let me give them something. And they'll whip out a $5 bill. Now, any other time, let me tell you, in private or in any other respect, have they ever thought about giving to anybody anything? In fact, they pissed when they see you helping others and not them. But they hold their tongue, they bite their tongue. But any time they can use an opportunity like this to shame you, they're going to jump on the opportunity. You feel me? It's like fake giving, virtue signaling, right? These kind of narcissists, now, they're the kind that if they don't get noticed giving or volunteering enough, if they don't get enough dopamine of people noticing that and, and, and saying, hey, good, good deeds, they're going to be pissed. Warriors, when they come back to Hoover you, and they will, I want you to understand is they need to figure out what, how much do you know? What do you know? And this is why. First of all, I highly recommend that you not even be approachable. But second of all, because that's what blowing the fucking bridge is about. But second of all, the thing of it is, too, is they don't want to tell you too much. They don't want to own up to too much. And they only want to tell you enough that you already know. But they'll pretend you don't know. And you're supposed to act like you don't know. That's the play-along thing. But warriors, they don't want to divulge too much because the whole truth, nothing but the truth, holy shit, that's just the tip of the fucking iceberg of what you don't know. Look, this is what I want you to understand. Stop what the fuck you're doing, look at me. In order to win, narcissists will go to extremes to double down on wrong to prove you wrong. And this is how they defeat themselves. They bet against themselves because they know the freaking outcomes every time is an utter failure. Utter failure. Like a cow titty. Yeah, I said it. Look. They know they're defeated at hello. You've been gaslighting yourselves thinking they're getting away with some shit. They already know they're going to crash and burn. You're going to learn from this. And chances are you're only one or two connections away from the last connection. You're do or die. If that's the path you're seeking, you're going to do it well. You're going to do it right. Because you're a quick teach. See, you only get digmatized once or twice in a lifetime. After that, what you're trying to hook up with is your do or die. Your lifetime. The, hold my beer. We got this shit. Warriors, you went through what you went through because you understand. Narcissists know full well, but you understand in this life you choose wisely, you choose carefully, you use discernment and all the tools that you learn 
from this awareness to apply in life in choosing who you associate with and you understand that it doesn't take much when you invite a narcissist into your circles to damage it completely like a search and destroy mission. Narcissists are gonna miss what it feels like to wake up with genuine authenticity. What it feels like to be in the presence of authenticity. Make no mistake, but they're not gonna miss it like you think in the ooh ahs. The feels are different. Narcissists are gonna miss it because they understand the stability and that sense of consistency, respectful cooperation without a competitive spirit. Fully trusting. I don't care who you are as a coach, as a psychologist, psychiatrist, what age, you can't help but miss that. That kind of relationship, even one-sided, would fuck up a normal person. Some of you are warriors that fail to temptatious. You had the best thing that ever happened to you and fucked it up. You would find yourself fortunate to be taken back. We all got life's lessons to learn. Some of us get whooped up, rode hard, put up wet. Either way, a lesson's learned. Either way, no one is going to go through the human experience without a narcissist crossing their path. Some people, it seems like, are born with, with the awareness. Some get it sooner than others. But rest assured of this. The narcissist playbook seems to be instant, immediate, passed down, guarded, protected, refined, and sometimes even shared. Warriors, thanks for your support. As a loop interrupter, on your next date, guys, You want to test your cojones? See if this line will get you any bizcocho. We'll see how man you are. If you're going on a date, call her and tell her to eat before you pick her ass up. I dare you. And for those of you Considering a lifestyle of a minimalist, minimalism, minimalism is hysteresis. Now is the time to do it more than ever. Like Denzel Washington said in one of his speeches, you ain't never seen a U-Haul being towed by a hearse. Change lives with what you got. Look, it's kind of like that, that list I have on Amazon, uh, wish list. I have a set of tools on there, and I, be, I bet you I've had them for 10 years. It's just missing a couple pieces that broke, right? And some I loaned never got back. Well, anyway, I'm gonna donate that and either change a life or donate it to where it can be repurposed, right? Well, if we can change lives with, with the stuff, the gifts, the stewardship, 
and the blessings that we've been given to change others' lives. I want to thank you for sharing those remarks. You have no idea. We get emails as I read it. I, I, I'm not able to share with you, but I get emails regarding the remarks. Warriors, without you realizing it, I'm telling you, because you need to know. Part of coaching is blowing air up your ass with the truth. But you're helping move mountains. See, I started this with one shovel at a time. Now we're over 30,000 subscribers. Now you get 30,000 shovels. We're going to get this mountain moved in no time. I thank you for your support, Warriors. Thank you for keeping each other grounded. For keeping each other motivated to continue. You see, the good Lord didn't awaken a fucking quitter. Can I get a what what? Woo, y'all got me losing Jesus. Mm -mm, five seconds. Ooh, five seconds, five Mississippis. Mm. Dang it. Look, the community don't coddle, link, or cuddle. Narcissists know this. The community will spank that ass. That's the world of the narcissist. Stop suffering from FOMO. Get your ass back in your lane. Shh, shh. Gone. Shh. Move. Move. Gone. Got me buck snorting. <laughs> Be using duck calls. Get, get your chairs back in your lane. Move on. And look, thanks for that toilet water, y'all. I got the curve wave on the Amazon wish list. Thank y'all so much for that support. I appreciate it. Uh, this is the wave. Wave. Check it out. Now, I have on there too a polo. It's red. The bottle's red. I only picked it because it matches the Jeep. I've never, I've never used it. I don't know. CK1 is on there, and I have tried it. It smells like citrus delicious, and it's toilet water. These are toilet water spray, toilet water. So, thank you for the toilet water. Toilet water, water. <laughs> Y'all are awesome, man. You're numero uno. It's never goodbye, warriors. Always until next time. Y'all know that. Namaste.